Hey, I'm going to share with you today how to make a glamorous Halloween flower pot. I'm the DIY Queen Diva. Make sure you vote this year. Like, share, and hit that bell button. And subscribe to my channel to keep updated with all of my videos. Let's get started. Okay, first let's go ahead and start on our flower pot. So I went to the Dollar Tree and I purchased one of those little Halloween candy buckets, um, styrofoam. Um, that was a dollar, I got two, so they were a dollar each. And what we're going to do is use our hot glue gun and glue the styrofoam pieces down in the little bucket okay so let's go ahead and do that first before we do anything else okay so i have these little pumpkin candies and i also have these little um sticks to put in the oreos i purchased both of these from Michael's craft store also make sure your chocolate is already melted and put that to the side if you do not know how to melt chocolate or almond bark I do have a video um, that I'll put up at the end of this video go ahead and use your hot glue gun and glue the styrofoam pieces down in the bucket so go ahead and get your hot glue gun and use the glue on the bottom part of the styrofoam and then you're going to place this down at the bottom and press firm and I'm going to turn this upside down just to make sure it's glued down. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our next piece and pretty much do the same thing. So we're just repeating the process. And if you have some, I also got some artificial grass to place on top of this uh, styrofoam. It looks like I ran out of glue, so let me grab another glue stick here. Okay, so let's go ahead and dip our Oreos. I'm gonna get these sticks to place inside in between um, the Oreo cookie and just dip, just easily dip the Oreo down in the chocolate. It's very simple, so it's really easy, so I know you guys will get it. So all you need are your treat sticks and a pack of Oreos and your melted chocolate. Like I said, I already have a video on how to melt chocolate if you do not know how to melt chocolate. And I will put that video up towards the end of this video. So I am grabbing my Oreos out and I am put in the treat stick in between the two cookies so this stick needs to sit in between the two cookies um, through the cream and you just dip down I'm gonna give you a closer look here you just dip the Oreo down in the chocolate and that's pretty much it it's really simple and I'm just gonna tap and get the extra chocolate off um, by scraping the um, extra chocolate on the side of the cup and then just place this down on the parchment paper. I'm gonna do this for about six Oreos. 
and then after I dip these Oreos I will place them in the freezer so the chocolate can harden up for about five minutes and then take them out Okay, I'm going to go ahead and place these in the freezer for about five minutes and then take them out and decorate. So it's been about five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and put some fondant pieces on the Oreos to make them look more um, like Halloween. Um, I'm going to do some pumpkins and things like that. I'm going to use some of this chocolate that I already have in place on the back of the fondant and candy pieces and then place on the Oreos. I need to go ahead and add the artificial grass on top of this flower pot. So I am going to get my hot glue gun and I am going to glue down the grass. Okay, let me run back over here to my cookies and finish decorating my cookies. I'm just placing some pumpkins down on the Oreos. Make sure you put chocolate on the back of your pieces and attach to the Oreo. Okay, so these are looking too plain. Let's go ahead and decorate our sticks. So I am going to use my hot glue gun and put the glue on the ribbon. I'm going to um, wrap the ribbon around the treat stick and make it look more like a spiral look. So I'm just going to hot glue the ribbon on the stick to make it look more decorative, Halloween-like, but cute.
So when you get to the bottom, just um, glue the ribbon at the bottom and cut your ribbon off. And that's it. So I am going to place a fancy bow on um, this stick as well. And if you want to learn how to make fancy bows, I'll put that video up right now. Look at the top of your screen. Honey child, these are still looking plain to your girl, the DIY Queen Diva. So I am going to get some gold luster dust and use my lemon extract and get my little um little fancy fan brush and sprinkle a little gold on these i also made some royal icing um sugar cookies i will show you guys tomorrow which is sunday how to flood a sugar cookie two different ways um i do it two different ways um, so yeah, I'll show you how to ice a cookie tomorrow um, So get your favorite royal icing recipe and your favorite sugar cookie recipe and um, If you have a pumpkin cutter cookie cutter go ahead and cut you some cookies out and I'll show you two different ways how I flood um, my sugar cookies so what I'm doing is mixing um, the lemon extract right now and I'm going to sprinkle a little gold on these treats to bring them, um, give it a little glamour here. They're looking too plain for your girl, the DIY Queen Diva. So you know, um, I'm here on the weekends, Saturday and Sunday. Um, I'm the weekend DIY Queen Diva. Um, I don't plan on being on um, other days. However, I am working on something, so I may come on another day as well in the future. But let's go ahead and sprinkle this gold over these treats. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm pretty much done here. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell button, and share my videos with others. And um, don't forget to tell your family and friends about my channel. And you guys, you know, you Queen Divas, or whoever's watching, you guys are my A1 since day one. So just keep supporting me on this YouTube journey. And... You all have a great, fantastic day. Love you. Bye.